Hello and welcome to the Seller Express webinar. My name is Colin. I'm a member of the Seller Express support team and I'll be presenting today's webinar. In case you have any questions, I have Emma here who will be answering your chat messages as we go. If you have any pressing questions I haven't answered, you can direct them to her. In this webinar, I'll be giving you a quick introduction to Seller Express's new Magento Web Stores integration designed to allow you to list your Magento inventory on eBay, Amazon and Play Trade in a few simple steps. This presentation will give you an idea of how this first stage of, of our integration will work and how it could make your life much easier if, you've, if you already have or are considering a Magento web store. Following the presentation, I'll also be sending some extra reading material to give you a greater understanding of the subject. We'll also be recording this presentation to be uploaded onto YouTube, so if you're watching us there, don't forget to subscribe. Magento is a web store service which allows you to set up your own website to sell products on. Integrating your Magento web store with Amazon, eBay and Play Trade can increase your sales, drive traffic on your, to your website and help build your brand by expanding your reach. Until now, if you wanted to integrate your web store with Seller Express, you had to use our automatic imports and exports. Well, now Magento customers can integrate more closely with Seller Express. With this first stage of our integration, you are able to import your Magento products for listing on Amazon, eBay and Play Trade, and Seller Express will automatically update your stock levels across your online marketplaces and your Magento web store. I'll show you how to set up the integration on the Magento side and then we'll move on and show in Seller Express. So the first step would be to log in to your Magento web store. First thing we need to do is set up a new permission, a new user account, so Seller Express can access your account. To do this, you need to first click System and then Web Services followed by Users. We then add a new user and we enter in the relevant information. So, well, Since I've already put a, a test account in there. I guess I better put numbers at the end just to make sure that we can create it. Alright, now the API key here is your password for the account. It is something that you will need to use so please do enter one that you will find memorable. So you enter in your username, your first and last name, email address and your password. When you're done, hit save. Now, you can see it's been saved and if we go back, we have our new account. Now with that account created, we now need to set up a role for that account. To do that, we go to System, Web Services and Roles. You see the role basically gives the powers to the account and without a role being applied to the account then the account just sits there and can't do anything. So we're going to create this new role. The first thing we'll just give it a rename. Save it. And then we'll pop down to Role Resources, is where we give it its powers in Magento, and set that to All. This way, Seller Express can access all the pieces of Magento that it needs to. With that done, we just pop back to our user in Web Services Users, select our user, and then we go to User Role and we apply our new role to our user. Alright, with that user created, Seller Express would be able to access your Magento web store once we enter these details into Seller Express. So let's go ahead and do that. So, here we are in Seller Express. First thing to do is to pop onto the new Magento screen. 
So we'd go to inventory and then import Magento products. Up here at the top, we need to enter in specifics regarding our Magento web store, first being our shop URL. So we just go back to our Magento store, grab the URL. Now since I was logged into the admin account, there's a lot of material at the end you don't need, so we can delete that. Copy and paste it in. We then enter our username and then the password we set. Now, oh, everyone knows what my super secret use demo password is. <laughs> okay, once those have been entered, you then hit update. Now, this link won't mean anything unless we bring some stock into Seller Express from Magento. So, let's pop back into Magento and do our initial import of stock. So we pop into Magento. This will bring our stock we have already got in Magento Web Store into Seller Express. And then we can set it out to our various marketplaces. So we'll start by going to System, Import, Export, and then Export. And this will allow us to export our stock for us. It's important to note at this time, if you have any UPCs, otherwise known as barcodes in Europe, on your products, you will need to change the field you've got them in, in Magento, to barcode. If the field is known as anything else, Seller Express will not know what's a barcode and will not import it. So please do remember to change that. We need to start making our export file to send over to Seller Express. So, as I mentioned, System, Import, Export, Export. We then select our identity type as products, because we're exporting our products, and then a CSV. You don't need to worry about anything here, and then you just hit continue down the bottom. This will generate a CSV export of your products, and that was nice and quick today. So what you then do is you hit download to download it onto your computer. So we'll just pop back into Seller Express. And at this stage, you would then browse for the file and import it into Seller Express. Now, it is important to make sure that the correct import options have been selected. Okay, it looks like the computer here has made them do a bit of a disappearing act. Oh, there we go. Make sure these the right options are selected. If you've already imported products into Seller Express before, you'll be familiar with what each does. If not, refer to the documents I'm going to send at the end of this presentation for more details on what each does. Once imported into Seller Express, uh, you'll be able to add these products to the various marketplaces, to eBay, Play, and Amazon. You'll find that the Magento SKU has been entered into the personal identifier, and that's what allows Seller Express and Magento to be in sync with each other. Once the product is sold on Seller Express, your Magento web store will be automatically notified and the stock will be updated. These updates happen once every hour on the hour. This means all your marketplace sales will automatically be taken into account on your Magento web store. Sales made on your Magento store will need to be updated manually as often as you feel comfortable doing so. To do this, we simply follow the same procedure we went through to initially import our stock into Seller Express. This will update your stock quantities if the products are already in Seller Express rather than creating new ones. Thanks for watching this webinar, and if you'd like more information, I'll be sending out documents shortly for you to look over. To sign up for the new Magento integration, please do get in touch with us at support at sellerexpress.com. Thanks for coming, and see you at the next webinar.